Yeah, so two things then. So obviously Dwight Gale has signed, as you've just seen there, and Newcastle have a new home shirt. Uh, there'll be a separate video for that. This is this video is just about Dwight Gale. So we knew that um, Dwight Gale was coming because we've seen the pictures uh, last night at the airport. Uh, so it's another signing, second signing of the season. But let's have a look behind the scenes of how he came to the club at the airport and driven to the Benton Academy to undergo his medical. Right, so that was Dwight Gale, fantastic, eh? And we'll come on to his stats in a moment. This is what he said about the mood, about the move. Uh, if he had told me that signing for Newcastle, then I'll probably laughed at you and told you a liar. But to be finally be here on the route I've came, it's a great achievement. I just want to crack on, perform, and get the goals and push us back up. So he's saying the right stuff, isn't he? Um, I'm a, I'm ecstatic, really. I'm amazed to be at a big club like this and to come from where I've come. It's just a dream to come true. It's a massive fan base and a great history here, so it's amazing to be here. And he's went on to say a few more things, but um, but that's what he's turned around and said now. Um, let's have a look at, it, at Dwight Gale's record for those who don't know massive amounts about him. So he started at Stansted, which is a non-league side. Look at that record. 42 games, 40 goals. Fantastic in non-league, but you're thinking... Eh, that's nothing, that's not league, fair enough. Look at it now, we move to Dagenham. Now, this is where he kicked off because he was scoring a goal just under every every two, just over, sorry, every one and two. So he got a good good spell at Dagenham and then he was lo loaned out to Bishop Stansford again uh, whilst he was at Dagenham and then he just blasted that league away. He scored 42, scored, sorry, he scored 29 goals in 42 games. And again, it's non-league, yes. But then Peter Rapp picked that up and Peter, Peter I thought let's loan the kid and let's see what it looks like. So in the in the champ, well sorry in League One, he went on to playing just nine games and scoring seven goals. That convinced Peter Rapp to splash out and with a couple of a uh, few million quid to get him signed over the line. And then he went on to play twenty games in the championship, scoring six goals. So that doesn't look great, but you've got to bear in mind this is a lad who's come from literally non-league. And then he got his big move to Palace where he's played 63 games and scored 15 goals. Now, that doesn't look great because that's a record of, what, one in every what one in every four or five games. Um, but you've got to remember a lot of them from the bench as well. So, for championship level, I think it's a good move uh, for Newcastle. We are still attracting Premier League players from the lower end Premier League players. It's still, we're having Premier League players sign for Newcastle, which is a positive. Um, on the negative side, is there a negative? I think... A little bit steep the fee if it's believed to be around 10 million. But you've got to you've got to get goal scorers. We've been linked with Ross McCormack. That'll squash all of that dead now. Um, competition for places as well. So you're going to have like the likes of CC. You've even got Rivier still at the club. Armstrong. I know he's got a slight injury at the moment. Perez can play there. You've got Mitrovic. So and now you've got uh, obviously you've got, now got Gale and you've even got Ivan Tony as well. So competition for places is good. Now what he brings that the others doesn't is that Gale can, can play in various positions, so he can play out wide if he needs to be in a 4-3-3, or through the middle, or, or as a second choice. Very similar to Perez, but uh, Gale's more direct, Gale will run it here, he's got pace, he can get in behind, kind of like Vardy does for Leicester, in behind the defence if the ball's played over the top. He can run the channels, he can play as a poacher. Um, the only thing I think he'll lack is if he's playing one up front, because I don't think that's Gale's game, but it's promising, it... I know we're in the championship. It's not, ooh, fuck me, we've just signed a big star. Yes, but not. But it's promising that we've got Gale over the line. I'm, I'm reasonably happy about it. I'm not ecstatic because we're in the championship, don't get me wrong. But more competition, building a squad, because Rafa's now having an effect. Remember, he's completely revamped the training ground. He's got his own staff in. We've just literally had two medical guys come in uh, the last couple of days, hiring more staff. And then he's brought in his second player, soon to be third as well. So he's putting his stamp on the club, and I like it. Um, I want you to answer this question, which you'll see now in the card, which will appear on the screen now. Click on that. I want you to vote whether you think Dwight Gale will get 20 goals in the championship next season. Yes or no? So click on that and let us know on that vote. Right, uh, I've been late on a busy day for Newcastle. I'm sure there's more transfer activity coming uh, and I'll see you later.